Good afternoon, I'm Tim Lemons. I'm an account manager uh, in Nebraska. And what I want to talk about today is how we can go through some of these fields and do a little bit of crown and some stock scouting, looking for different types of rots. So if we're going to be doing some scouting today, uh, one of the ways that we're going to do this is we're going to identify an area of the field that's fairly typical of the average of the field. We want to be somewhat random inside of the average of the field as far as which plants we pick, but we're going to want to pick a stretch of about 100 plants. And the first thing we're going to do is walk up, and there's two different ways that we can do this. The first one is to simply take the plant, and we can just use our fingers, pressing from the top, pushing the plant over at about a 30 degree angle. If the plant pops back to normal, then we know that's uh, fairly, fairly typical and a fairly healthy stock. Second test, pops back normal. If we were to push it forward and the stock does not return to a normal position, then we could potentially suspect that there's going to be something with the stock that we need to do some further investigation. Another way we can do this is we can walk forward and just go into the first node above the brace roots. We're just going to do a pinch test. If we pinch it, here we can't see any deformity of the stock as we pinch down. This is going to be a fairly healthy stock. If we were to pinch this down and there was crunching or deformity of the stock or we started to see the stock come over, then again we're going to suspect some kind of stock rot or some issue going on with this plant and we're going to need to do a little bit of further investigation. So what I'm going to do now is find a plant that uh, I suspect possibly is going to be, have some stock rot. We're going to pull it up and we're going to take it out and do a little bit of um, uh, further checking on that show you some different scouting techniques and how you can get into the stock itself, what you're going to be looking for, and what you might see as far as a crown rot. So we're here back at the bed of the truck. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of further inspection on the plant that we pulled. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and knock some of the dirt off the, the root system. And what we want to do is just some further inspection. Uh, I'm just going to make the assumption that there was something with this plant that we needed to, to look at. The uh, first thing to do is just do a visual inspection of the plant itself, take a look at the root system. Might be looking for some exudate or some discoloring of the roots or possibly um, a foul smell coming off the root system itself. Do just a cursory evaluation of the stem, or, I'm sorry, the stock of the plant, looking for overall health. Looking to see if we see anything out of the ordinary. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead, split the stock itself. Again, what I'm looking for is just to split the stock all the way down through the crown. So I got a little hatchet here and I'm just going to kind of work this down. What I'm looking for is just to get a cross section, overall cross section of the root and the crown itself. Uh, here we can see some fairly normal uh, pith material. So be nice and white. This is going to be a healthy plant material here. As you start to move down to the crown, we're going to be looking for anything that's an exudate, uh, anything that's going to show us any brown fruiting bodies. This is just dirt that I've added in as I split the stock itself. Looking for areas of rot, uh, anything that's going to be out of the ordinary or unusual. So now we've got our split uh, stock and we've exposed our crown and our roots. First thing we're looking for is charcoal rot. Uh, charcoal rot is something we're looking for primarily on non-irrigated fields or for an irrigated field we're looking at the dry land corners. And it's going to present itself as small black bodies. Uh, and those black bodies are going to be inside of the stalk itself and it's going to give this a very black or gray appearance, um, hence the name, the uh, charcoal rot. The next one we're looking for is fusarium. Fusarium is something that we're looking for primarily on your irrigated fields and what it's going to present is a uh, white fungus growing on the, the nodes of the plant itself and as that fungus starts to work into the stalk itself it's going to present as uh, a pink or a sanum colored appearance of the pith material inside of the stalk. Next one we're looking for is anthracnose. Anthracnose is a disease that we really look for more at the top of the plant, uh, above the ear node. Uh, it's, it's something that's going to cause a lot of our top dieback. Uh, but as that disease advances, it will work itself down inside of the stalk and present more of a problem for a stalk or a crown rot. The next one is going to be Diplodia. Uh, Diplodia is an interesting one. Um, what it does is generally when we feel the stalk itself, it's going to have a very smooth feel to it. With Diplodia, it has microscopic bodies on it. Uh, and those small black bodies use themselves to the stalk and it gives it almost a sandpaper feel. 
Next one's going to be Physoderma brown spot. I'll get Physoderma brown spot. Um, this is something that's commonly a leaf disease, but under the right conditions such as heavy moistures or uh, other conditions of that nature, uh, it can work itself down into the stalk and continue to give us additional problems. So why go through this and why is all of this important? As we go through a field and we were doing our push test and our pinch test, if we're finding uh, out of 100 plants, 10 to 15 plants or 10 to 15 percent of the field that's ex exhibiting some kind of a stalk or a crown rot or even a root rot, um, that's a field that potentially might have some, some lodging problems down the road. So we're going to want to identify that field early and make sure that we flag it for early harvest. Other conditions are going to lead to potential lodging. Uh, any hybrid that's characteristically tall or has a high ear. Uh, plants that are characteristically thin stalked, um, any plant that is rooted into a very wet soil or places where ponding or pooling of water has occurred. We're also going to be looking for very high yielding hybrids. They're going to potentially cause some problems. We're also going to see it anywhere where a plant has had excessive leaf loss, area loss, or where we've had uh, exceptional damage on the stalk itself such as this one is, is demonstrating as a result of hail or a hail event. Get out and do an early harvest. Thank you. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.